Good morning. China's deep seek artificial intelligence application is upending the AI industry, and it's forcing our tech industry and policymakers to deeply reconsider our understanding of China's tech and China itself. It's been a month or so now, during which time our experts are tearing deep seek down to see if it's all that it seems to be. Right away, Silicon Valley was skeptical that DeepSeek's development cost, under $6 million, was possible. So a lot of time and analysis was done to figure out if and how a Chinese startup company was able to build a system that's comparable in quality and in execution to our best models, and that they did so for $6 million instead of $6 billion. The University World News just did an analysis on DeepSeek from a different direction. DeepSeek claims that its tech was developed by a very small group of young Chinese technicians and scientists recently graduated from top universities in China. This report looked into that. If and how a group of very young engineers built a system that is comparable in quality and execution to our top AI models, but who had no industry experience and who did not graduate from top U.S. universities. Liang Wenfang is founder of the company, and he's just 39, and he's suddenly famous, and explains that his company prefers recent graduates with a maximum of just a few years of work experience. Capability over experience is what he calls it, and goes on to say that companies like his have a lot of candidates to choose from. Let's remember, too, that there is a trend firmly in place now of top scientists and engineers who are leaving U.S. companies and universities and coming back to China to live and work. Since 2018, we've seen a 75 percent jump in the number of Chinese scientists leaving the U.S., and most of those are coming back here. Of those still in the United States, 61 percent are considering leaving and nearly half turned down free government money to do research there because of the hassles involved. It's especially an issue in the hard sciences. Huge jumps in engineering and computer science, math and physics. The researchers here wanted to find out if this is where DeepSeek was getting their talent from. It's important to know either way if DeepSeek were developed using top highly experienced engineers and scientists who were part of this brain drain or whether they are, as Liang Wenfang claims, all homegrown talent. The author of the study is Ryan Allen. He was intrigued by the higher education aspect of DeepSeek, and he admits he was skeptical that DeepSeek had no foreign university returnees on their teams. But as he got digging, he discovered that the core contributors to DeepSeek were educated in China at undergraduate and graduate school levels, Seven members of DeepSeek's core technical group are from Peking University and another four from Tsinghua University. Both Peking and Tsinghua are ranked in the top 20 for computer science globally. He did find that one technician was a visiting student at Stanford and found a handful of connections with authors of papers related to DeepSeek, but almost all of them were from elite Chinese schools and recent graduates. It is a very young group, still in their 20s. Haigui is the Chinese name for sea turtles, and they're so-called because sea turtles come back from the ocean to the place they were born to hatch again. They refer to Chinese who go abroad to study and learn the best of what we have to offer from the rest of the world, then come back and apply what they've learned here in Chinese companies. Those are Haigui. The trend for years was that Chinese students would go to the top universities in the United States, then bring back what we've taught them. Chinese universities were no match for our top schools, and Chinese industry depended on Haigui to keep them competitive with North America and Europe. Deep Seek and these 30 or so 25-year-olds have blown up that whole idea. So Alan goes a little deeper, one level higher, could say, Maybe it was their professors or their academic advisors with the deep experience in our university systems or with Silicon Valley. And that gave him the same answers. The professors were all educated in China as well. None of the faculty advisors at Tsinghua, for example, had degrees abroad 
one associate professor at Peking and a graduate advisor, had foreign university degrees, but for all of DeepSeek's engineering team and for nearly all the professors and advisors for that team from freshman year on, all the schools were China. Business managers and executives who have lived in China for a long time or who for a long time have been traveling back and forth between companies in our home countries and China. There has been a big shift and we've noticed it. Up until about five or six years ago, we would be met by a Chinese factory or company by one of their haigui, one of their sea turtle graduates. It's always somebody who went to a top university, usually in the United States or Europe. They speak very strong English and they accompany us everywhere to all the meetings, help with translations and so on. That doesn't happen anymore. For the past five years, maybe longer, we would be met instead by somebody who doesn't speak English very well at all, maybe just passably. We go to a conference room, we pull out our phones and let Chinese AI translate everything that's being said in the meeting. It's actually better and faster than having a top trained translator there. There's no cultural misunderstandings. A translator might not understand engineering language and be embarrassed to say so, for example. So lately, everybody I'm meeting with is Chinese homegrown talent. Everybody in the logistics and shipping department, everybody in the engineering department, everyone at the company is Chinese homegrown talent. We tell them what we need, they build it, and we can hardly ever believe the quality or the cost. They are not famous like these kids over at Deep Seek, but they are just as impressive in the industries that they're in. This is Chongqing. Be good. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. Everyone who hears these words of Jesus and acts on them is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. And the rain fell, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and that house did not. 